the first thing you want to do to do your prom upgrade is to power your system down. So let's talk about how these systems are powered. They are powered from a wall transformer plugged into a standard wall outlet. You're going to have either two prongs with a ground or simply just a two prong plug-in power supply and this will be plugged into an outlet in your home. While it can be difficult to find your control panel, finding this guy can be even harder. We've seen this plugged in on the ceiling of a garage next to our garage door controller. Sometimes they're run up into the attic. Sometimes they're run through the wall into a completely different room from where you'll find this control panel. So you really have to hunt and find this plugged into an outlet somewhere in your home and unplug it from the wall. This is how your panel gets power. You've got your 120 volts coming into your outlet and this transformer is stepping down that 120 volts from the wall to 16.5 volts, which is used for the system. It's an AC transformer, and it's powered off of terminals 1 and 2 on the panel. And then the panel acts as a big power supply to provide DC output for anything that gets power from this panel, such as a keypad, a siren, a four-wire motion detector, a wireless receiver, or your alarm communicators. So, once you've found this, you unplug it, you'll notice your keypad still stays powered on. Your display will still be on. That's because these systems are smart enough to give you battery backup. So if you lose power to the house, the system will still work. So the next thing you have to do to fully power the system down is to disconnect your battery. So we've got our sealed lead acid battery, which sits right in the bottom of the cabinet. On the top, you've got a black and a red spade connector and they simply slide off. Sometimes if they're old, you have to kind of wiggle side to side as you pull, pull away, and you don't have to worry about disconnecting both. One lead off has disconnected power fully to the system once you have your transformer disconnected. At this point, you'd want to look and make sure that your keypad has no display. That's your indication that you have fully powered down the system. You really want to make sure you have it fully powered down before you ever try to touch or extract your prompt chip. 